Okay, welcome to this tutorial on Dwarf Fortress. We're going to get going right away and we're going to hit create new world. Uh, we are going to take the defaults um, and if you can get to 500 years, good luck with that. I've never done that. so. Um, but I usually just take the defaults. Um, this is one of the most complex games you will ever play. But we are just going to cover the very basics to keep your fortress up and running. That is, uh, provide food, drink, and shelter. Those are the three things we're going to concentrate. Very basic tutorial. We're not going to get into the more complex subjects like automation. We'll cover that in the next video. In this video, I just want to teach you the basics and don't want to overload you. So here's our world. It's getting built out. Uh, looks like we got three or four main continents or islands, whatever you want to call them. A big mountain range right in here. We'll probably end up <clears throat> in one of these mountains uh, up here, down here, whatever is the best location. Um, so uh, it's building a world. It's called Ramu Taden. Pretty cool. The Planet of Enchantments. I like that. Uh, and then it builds a whole lore, all this stuff, which you can, uh, during your gameplay, you can get books and research all that. The steamy heather, heather of the grooved euphoria, founded, rain, I mean, all this stuff. Okay, well, anyways, we're going to hit play now, and it's going to do some more building, and here we go. Offloading units. Uh, so again, yeah, this, uh, we're just going to get a basic fortress, uh, going. I, trust me, a lot of this for me was trial and error. I... My dwarves would die like right out of the gate because I wasn't concentrating on the bare essentials is really what you need to do. Okay, so uh, let's skip the tutorial. We don't need that. Uh, you're on your own. Okay. It's not my first time playing, by the way. Um, <clears throat> so uh, one thing, uh, you're going to come down here to the bottom and hit find and bark location. Now, it's going to pop up this sort of menu on the right. I seriously recommend that you, in the beginning, if you're first playing, turn off Aqua first. Uh, what this is going to do, by the way, I should explain it first. Uh, you, it will try to match. Now you don't have to. You can go ahead and just find your own location, go anywhere you want. Uh, but this will actually try to match um, the criteria you put in. Obviously, the more criteria, the less available spaces you're going to have. But let's let's look for iron too. You hit begin, and now it's going to go ahead and do the search. Everything in yellow is a match everything in I'm sorry everything in yellow is not a match everything in green is so it's scanning right now you have to let that finish I, I bet we'll get some hits in here yeah as I predicted um, we should get some uh, some 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 matches like I said the more criteria you put in the less uh, less chance I guess I would say that you're gonna get uh, of a hit all right so it's gonna continue doing that and uh, once it's done then you can go ahead and pick your spot which is what we're going to do <clears throat> if it finishes come on okay so um it's almost there i think oh it's still 40 okay 450 because okay, you got to wait till this gets to the end i guess we can just stop it yeah i haven't actually done that before Okay, so uh, let's go over here. I, I kind of saw a spot I wanted over here. So let's, um, what did I just, did I just, you know what? I I, I think I, I saw a spot over here. So let's, let's try right here. So we're going to pick that. You know, I think I screwed this up, but that's okay. <laughs> I probably, I, anyways, you saw how to do it. I don't, I'm not worried about aquifers, but uh, you saw how to do that. Um, let's, oh, okay, so I'm okay. It, did, it will give you a warning if there's aquifers. So anyways, um, you want to turn enemies off um, in the beginning. I highly recommend that. I highly recommend that. If you don't, um, it's just, uh, you know, you, you need to learn. I guess what I'm saying here is you need to learn the game, the, the mechanics, the basics of the game before you start, you know, selecting harder modes and, and stuff like that. Uh, but you can, you can, you can turn them on if you want, but I would, I, I kept them off for a long time before, uh, cause I really didn't know what I was doing. So it's going to tell you, uh, everything you've arrived, uh, give you this whole thing. Um, you have almost no supplies left, but with stout labor, all this stuff, you are, uh, effectively, uh, starting with seven. I think, I believe it is always seven. You can, here's your dwarves. I mean, everything's to the detail. So here's your wagon. With all your supplies, this is represented up here. Your your food, your drink, your seeds. It's all in this in this wheelbarrow, this gigantic wheelbarrow. I guess I would call it. 
um, or wagon, sorry, wagon. Um, and if you hit stocks, uh, you can see this, this represents everything we got. This is everything we have in this world. Fish, stone, everything you got. It all came with us. So you have some starting supplies, so you don't have to, I guess, panic in the beginning. You've got supplies. They're outside, um, and you've got your dwarves. You can click on these guys and look and see uh, about them. You can click on each one. He's healthy, uh, you know. And we're going to deal with uh, these. These guys can get pretty moody. Um, but the good thing is in this video, we're going to provide them the basics so they're not too moody. But how to keep them happy is a whole other uh, subject, which we'll deal with. I mean, eat really happy. Uh, that's another subject, um, you know, that we need to uh, talk about in another video. We're, again, I don't want to overload you, but I just know that you can click on these guys and, and take a look around. That's all you need to know now. Um, the game starts out in pause mode, which is nice. So that's why um, that's actually a nice thing. So a uh, quick little tutorial on this part up here, these elevate. You're going to see this thing called elevations. Now, again, this is a 2D world. So if you were in Minecraft right now, we would just start mining down or whatever we wanted to do. We would go. But here, you actually have to scroll down. So if I scroll down, uh, we're now down one elevation. Think of it. I like to think of this almost like... Um, you're in a building and you're going to the next floor. That's what this is. So if you scroll with the mouse, you'll do that. Now, if you want to zoom in, that's where I actually initially was a little thrown off when I first started playing this. Um, <clears throat> I um, I would start to um, sort of uh, scroll and I'm like, wait, where did I just go? No. In order to actually zoom in and zoom out, you need to hit the control button and then you can zoom out and you can zoom in. So, um, First things first, uh, we're going to keep this pause. You, but you, what you want to do is, well, I really zoomed in there. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to be zoomed in that much. Let's let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, so first things first. The first thing you want to do is, uh, wow, those are some big boulders. I don't remember. I don't think I've ever seen that many boulders right close to the. That's that's pretty cool. Um, the first thing you want to do is um, get inside. We are dwarves now. I guess theoretically, and I have not done it this way, I guess theoretically you could set everything up on the outside, but that sort of defeats the purpose of being dwarf. So uh, we are miners after all. So this looks like a good spot. I was just looking right up here to start our entrance. And I think we're gonna do it right right here. So we're gonna, first thing you wanna do is go down to the middle here and click this mining ax. And you're gonna come over here and you're going to click on this hold it down and almost like you're in windows or something you're going to drag this this way out here click it again and there you've got the mining going on uh so now we got to hit play remember it's you can always pause this by the way if you feel like you're getting overwhelmed you need to research something you can always uh uh um you can always pause this now what did that do well this is basically uh, i would i guess you can think of this as orders you're right here especially in here you're ordering your dwarves to do something. We just gave an order. If you even high, highlight over this, it says set digging orders. We just did that. So hit play and somebody's gonna come up here and start to work on this. And, and it's probably our, our lead miner, it is. So um, we now there's a way to divvy out labor. We're gonna talk about that. In fact, let's talk about it briefly. You go over here, all, all the way on this far left is the citizen menu. You hit that and we're going to go to the labor tab. I'm going to turn off these tips. Um, and here's where you can dis, uh, do assignments. And we're going to get more in depth in this in later videos. But we want to really quickly um, hand out a couple other miners. Because we, we want we don't want to like spend all day mining. So we're going to just quickly assign a couple other people. There you go. And he should now be getting some help. Theoretically. Yes. There he goes. So these other guys came up. They're helping out. Good. <clears throat> so we're mining. Um that's good. We got that going. Uh, now, first thing what we're going to do is actually we're going to go pretty deeper into here because uh, let's 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 get a big hallway going. And then what the first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to I think I'm going to actually zoom out a little bit more. OK, good. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is establish a massive storeroom. I like to get a storeroom going, and and we're going to talk about that. Storage is important in this game. It's it's really a good way to organize things, and uh, so that's what I do. And I usually like to do these uh, sort of 
uh, have like a little doorway, I guess. So you open that up, and then let's let's uh, let's mine out just a massive, massive room here to begin with, because we're gonna make a gigantic storage area. So those guys are gonna get going. Now you can see as they're sort of mining away here, um, they are finding uh, items that we found some shale, we found some gypsum, and you might be wondering, well, why didn't they pick this up? That's because we haven't defined a storage room. Yeah. Uh, by the way, if you ever want to clear things out of here, you'll get messages. Uh, there's nothing to catch in the Western. Great. You can right click. These are your messages. They're important to look at. Uh, the f well, that's not good. The Fisher Dwarf, that's probably going to make him moody. He got stung by a honeybee. Um, but we can. Um, he's actually going out to look for fishing. Uh, we're not going to cover fishing right now. Actually, you don't even do a lot of fishing. But, um, but you can. That's the thing. You can do whatever you want in this game. You can have a fishing colony. I mean, you can do whatever ever your heart desires. This game is as complex as you want to make it. Uh, so we're going to just right click, get rid of those, but your messages are over here. I'm glad those popped up. So you can see we're, uh, we're plugging away here. Um, and so while we're plugging away, we're actually going to do another area, which is going to contain uh, most of our workshop. Whoops. I didn't want to do it. Let's right click. Again, if you want to cancel something, you can always just right click out of it. Uh, but let's do that. Let's actually go right here. We're gonna make another big room. Two big rooms right by each other. So we're getting our layout going. That's all good. Um, and let's even do a smaller little thing going down here. So we'll have like a little separate room going down here. Okay. Actually, I might not have wanted to put that so close to this edge of the mountain. But uh, that's okay for now. Okay, so um, <clears throat> we can always come back and change that later. Okay, so they're still going. Got three miners. That's good. Our wagon's here. Um, we're going to establish our first... Uh, let's let these guys go. Now, uh, let these guys uh, keep going. Now, one, one thing, um, we do want some things outside. And I want to talk about the outside. You can see here there's uh, walnut trees. Uh, there's all kinds of things. There's plants. We can collect these. These actually can become, um, uh, they're vi vital to the colony. So one thing you want to establish, we're going to do our first stockpile. We talked about stockpiles, but what we want to do is create a wood pile because wood <laughs> is one of the essential resources in this game. So let me go back. So in order to do that, you hit this plus right here. You hit it again, and it's going to ask you now to basically paint an area, kind of like we did with mine. You do the same thing. You just paint an area, and we're going to do a big, big, wood pile. I want like a lot of space for this wood pile. Huge amount of space. All right. So we just made it. There it is. You're going to hit accept. Then it's going to ask you to pick what do you want to put in this stock, uh, stockpile? Well, we want to put wood. You just select wood. And actually, it's kind of cool. It comes up with the name and that's it. We're done. We You can right click out and we've got our wood pile. <clears throat> now we need to get some wood. How do we do that? Well, we come down here and give the order. Remember, this is all orders. Just come down here to the tree chopping, and you're just going to highlight over this. Real simple. There we go. Uh, probably that's the woodcutter. Yeah, he's going to come out here and start cutting those things down. Everything with the axe that we just highlighted. He's going. The people, other people are going to go collect it now and start putting it in our wood pile. Now, you could theoretically, I use that word a lot, you could just leave them out here. I have before, actually, if I'm, I'm busy and not thinking about it. I've actually done that, and that's fine, but I like to just sort of, keep an eyeball on my wood supply. It's a quick way to actually look and see how much wood we got. So, okay, we're doing that. Uh, this room is done. Okay, so we're gonna do another storage area. We already know how to do that. We come down here for stockpile, we hit the plus, hit the plus again. We're gonna make a second now, second location. Uh, we're gonna paint this entire room and we're going to hit accept. Now this is going to be a little bit different. We're gonna do a custom one because I'm gonna tell you why. We don't wanna put our food here. We want to just put everything but food, effectively, and wood. Obviously, we don't want, want wood. So we're going to hit all and hit all up here again. And then we're going to come down, <clears throat> excuse me, and we're going to deselect food. We're going to deselect that and say none. Where is wood? Oh, I got to scroll down. I'm sorry. Um, so, and we're going to do the same thing with wood. Obviously, we don't want to put wood in here. So we're going to say none. Ah, wait a minute. What did I do? All wood <clears throat> sorry i selected i think i had everything selected or something okay and go back to food and hit none 
Is it letting me? Oh, I see. I'm sorry. I forgot. Uh, yeah, these have to do with uh, this. Uh, this is uh, everything I believe. This is this menu, and this is this menu. I forgot. Okay, so you hit uh, escape. So we've got food and wood deselected, and now we've got our second stockpile, which is sort of our general area to put everything. Okay, so these guys are going. One thing we don't have a lot of is mud. That's, the, or I'm sorry. Um, we're going to have to find that. I might, what is this here? I might actually, um, well, they're continuing. Let's, let's actually, we need, uh, I, I'm trying to, I want to do a farm on the inside, but uh, we haven't struck, uh, we could of course go down, but let's, let's just do some bigger areas here. I mean, you can do this. You can, you know, to your heart's desire, you can. I usually do it this way. I usually just start uh, mining away in the beginning. Um, just to see if I can find, <clears throat> you know, find certain things. And uh, so let's just do a very huge. They're just going to keep going away. Okay. We're going to have a lot of stuff to store. All right. So um, we've got our second area and we've got our wood pile. That's all good. Now what we want to do is start to um, uh, we want to start to collect. Uh, well, they're collecting all this stuff, but we want to start our workshops. Very, very important early on to get the workshops going. That is right here. You place structures, you hit workshops, and I call them the big five. We need um, first thing first. We need uh, one of the most important is food and drink. We need to cover that uh, so you get the still going. Very important. So let's get the still going. Uh, it's going to ask us once you place it down what you want to build it out of. These are all the things that we've collected. Um, this I don't think this really matters, but I usually take what we got the most of, in this case shale, so let's build it out of shale. And one of the dwarves now will come here and start working on that. Uh, let's get the second big, I call them the big five. The second one is a kitchen. And I usually just put that real close to the... Um, you want to make sure, by the way, you have select material after placement. Um, or you could do closest, but I usually select it. So we're going to place that right next to the um, still, and we're going to build that again out of um, shale. There we go. So we're building that. Uh, we also are going to need a carpenter. <laughs> very, very important. So go here, and we're going to select carpenter. Let's just put him right over here, um, and we'll build him again out of, uh, we got a lot of shale. Let's build him out of shale. There's another one that we needed. And um, we need a, I know we need, oh, we definitely need a craftsman. Yes, that's another big one. Let's just put him right here. These are the big five, I call them. And one more that you need in the very beginning is um, somebody to make some clothes, a clothes workshop. We're gonna put that, let's just put those guys right on this side of the wall. There we go. Okay, so uh, we are continuing on here. Uh, we're getting a huge, huge, huge fortress going. Um, this is gonna be really big. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, all right, so we've got our um, got our area here. Now, what I like to do is, you, you remember we deselected food over. By the way, you can see they're they're starting to stack everything in here. They're pulling everything off the wheelbarrow. They're taking all of our items now and they're going indoors because we want to be indoors right yeah we want to be indoors um this is kind of cool we hit some okay so we did hit some mud here that's good uh let's actually burrow down into here a little bit see what we get and let's burrow into this area i've no, i don't think i've ever done this much mining out of the gate let's do a connector right there and let's just keep those guys going uh and again all the doors that are not working i think everybody's working now they're pulling stuff off this wagon and getting everything indoors we want to be indoors all right so uh now that we've got our um now that we've got our workshops our big five i call them the big five made we can uh start to we, oh, we got to do one more thing we've got to create a food stockpile almost forgot to do that important uh you don't have to do that you could you could just keep everything in one but i like to sort of see what the food supply is so i make one of those we're gonna hit accept and this is real simple now we're just gonna come here and hit food everything about food is going to be stored here they will eventually by the way pull these rocks uh and they're starting to come in here and pull rocks <clears throat> but and you can see they're starting to load up food there's the barrels and on that subject barrels hold wine and food but generally wine um if you do not have enough barrels 
for your line, uh, you'll find that out when we go here. Um, well, <clears throat> let me back up. <clears throat> you need to keep some uh, extra barrels. Actually, probably the most important thing you want to build first, and let's actually zoom in a little bit now, is to make some extra barrels. So we're going to do that at the carpenter store. You're going to hit, uh, so you click on the carpenter, you hit add new task, and you can just search for barrel up here if you want to do that faster. And there you go. Let's make a wooden barrel. We're going to add the tasks, and we're going to make a few extra barrels. So a good thing right away is to make a few barrels because you will run out of these dwarves love to drink. Now, once you've made the barrels, you can go over to the still, add new task. Well, now you can see here it needs, they already, it's already telling us it needs more barrels. So let's keep those barrels going. This is a thing you will find you run out of barrels pretty quick. So let's just make a bunch of those. Let's keep making those over. This is why this is good to have these guys kind of next to each other because you can make the barrels and then go over the still. So they're putting all these barrels in here. We're going to have lots of barrels. He's making them. Let's keep him going because our drink and food will slowly start to, you know, it's our right, look, it just went down. So we make sure that keeps going up. Now, look, that message about not having barrels is gone. We can now brew a drink from, from a uh, plant. And let's do a bunch of them. Let's brew some extra drinks so that'll go. That number should go up eventually. Uh, if you cannot make something or if the dwarf gets here and says, I can't do this, you will get an error message over here. It will tell you that. And then you need to go fix that. Let's also make some meals too. I'm just going to fix some easy meals just so we aren't forgetting about this. But you can see how handy it is to have all this stuff uh, really close. <clears throat> so again, barrels hold food and... Um, uh, wine and alcohol, uh, but also there's another big one, uh, bins. We want to make a few bins. These hold, I think those hold food too, but they also will hold, um, wooden bins will hold stuff, uh, just general items, which they can put in here. So you want to make some bins as well. And the other big item is uh, some bags. And you do that at the craftsman's. Um, actually, you know what? I think you got to, I just have a hard time. No, it's not the craft. I'm sorry. We do that at the cloth years shop. So come here. We're going to hit cloth and then you just make a few bags. These you don't need as much of. These hold seed and some other things, but the big thing is seed. So you make a few of those and that's good. So we've got some storage in storage, I guess. I guess I would say it that way. Um, we're clicking along here and how are things going to... Oh, okay. So we got... We hit some mud. What I wanted to say is you, you, need, in, uh, you need an indoor farm and an outdoor farm. We're going to talk about that. But the first thing to get going is if you can is an indoor farm and we definitely struck some mud that's good um it's clay but that's fine because you cannot build uh an indoor farm on i mean it makes sense you can't build that on uh, a, a cavern floor that's uh stone you need you need some mud so to make your um to do that we go back to the workshop we go to workshops we hit farming and we hit the farm plot um and we're going to just put that right here to start and then the farmer is going to come in here and he's got it there. He came right there. He's going to do some things, get that going. Is it already done? That was quick. No, he's constructing it. That will take a little bit of time. Let's let him keep going. Oh, look, our drink went up to 100. Look at that. Just with all of that, those, those few, uh, but let's actually make some meals too. Because our food's down a little bit. See, you just keep an eye. You come here, you do it. Make some meals. Okay. So we've got a uh, wood pile. Let's cut down some more wood. Let's do that. Let's cut down some more wood. And let's also, um, oh, no, you know what? We just gathered some plants. I'm sorry. But that's, that, I'm glad you did that because I'm glad I did that because you do want to gather uh, plants. Plants, uh, and what this is, so what I want to explain, normally if you get your civilization up and going and it's humming along and you got your farms and everything, um, you're in good shape. But if there's ever an emergency where you need immediate food and drink or, or the supplies to make food and drink, you can come out here and gather. So just always remember that's sort of an outlet. If you ever get in trouble, I didn't even know this in the beginning. You just come out here and you just gather these things. They'll bring them back into the storage area as they gather them. And you'll have some supplies to make food and drink. So that's always a good thing to know. All right, so our farm is done. We're going to come over here and click on it. Whoops, I had to right click. Uh, something happened here. Oh, see, he didn't have uh, the goods. That's okay. Don't. Don't get too worried. Um, sometimes they run out of supplies. Like I said, if you do and, you, and you're and you down to like nothing, you can go ahead. But we're going to start farming. <clears throat> and the big thing here, 
when you open up this farm, the big thing we want is, oh, plump helmets. So we're gonna start that out. I like to do those every season. These are the big thing dwarves love. They love uh, plump helmets because they can make um, wine out of them. But there's a big thing we got to do uh, with plump helmets. So we, you set them for every season, you can do that. And then you reuse the seeds after you're done brewing those seeds, it, they'll replant them. Um, but one thing I wanted to say, let me back up. After you do that, or actually before, you wanna come over here to this labor menu, open this up, come to kitchen, um, you're going to uh, come to seeds and you're going to, um, it's already done. Okay, that's that's interesting. Okay, that's not highlighted. Um, but you want to make sure, or I can't remember what I just did here. Was this green? I forget. But anyways, you want to make sure this is um, turned off. We don't want to cook. This is the cooking you want to make sure that's turned off for plump helmets. You only want to brew them. You do not want to. Um, uh, you do not want to cook them. By no means. Okay. So uh, that's good. Now, uh, if we did a, uh, what I guess what I want to say is we've got an internal farm, but you also need one on the outside because there's different vegetables that you get to grow on the outside than you do on the inside. Makes sense, right? So let's do another farm. Let's get another farm going. Um, you're gonna do that. We're gonna set that up. Um, let's put that. You want to put it close to the entrance, not too far away. But uh, let's let's just set that for here, right here. Okay. So we got another farm plot. That's good. Uh, he's gonna come out here and start working on that for us once we get that done. We've got an alert here. Um, Nothing to catch. Let's look at our messages. Merchants. We're going to talk about trade depots in another video. <clears throat> they are very important, but we don't need to worry about those right now. You can see they're still stacking stuff. Oh, there's some of our storage bins we made, right? There's some of our storage bins. Uh, let's make a few more. Um, let's make a few more barrels. I'm always making barrels. We'll automate this in the next video, but it's good to sort of learn the mechanics of the game. So come in here and just do these manually for a while. I actually sometimes like doing stuff manually. Okay, so our uh, this is okay to say no seeds. It just means they ran out of seeds, but they will they will come back. Um, but just keep those going. Um, let's add a few more. Uh, well, okay, so we needed more. Look at that. We needed more wooden barrels, I believe. It tell, it tell, uh, so we're going to make some more of those. And you, like you can see, these things fill up pretty quick. So if you don't have, if I come here. Okay, now, see, we made a barrel, so now I can brew drinks. So just... Keep that in mind that uh, it's really easy to run out of barrels. These things fill up really quick. And again, we'll automate those <clears throat> in the next uh, video. Okay, next thing I want to talk about, is this done yet? Yes, uh, let's plant some celery. We got actually some stuff to plant. So uh, we came out here, but see, we didn't have celery. Uh, some of these things are not available, if you notice, are not available in our internal inside plot, right? You have different things you can do. Um, if you want to micromanage this, you could come down here and do some pigtails, uh, but I just usually keep it set to plump helmets. But you can do things. You can see they're still uh, they're still moving some stuff out of here. It still hasn't finished. They still haven't finished because we assigned other tasks. But they're still getting stuff. Um, you can leave this here, by the way. Oh, one big thing: if you ever get lost, I mean, you can. I mean, maybe you're down on some elevation, or you're all the way down in like elevation five or something. You want to get back up to the surface real quick, or if you're lost, you hit F1. It will always take you back. If you hit F1, it'll always bring you right back to this wheelbarrow. Even if you destroy this, um, it will always bring you back to this location, no matter what. So that's good to know. All right, so um, we've got things are going pretty good here. We've got plenty of drink, we've got plenty of food. People are getting happier. Um, let's do one more important thing. Um, oh no, we got some more important things here. Sorry. Um, let's make a gigantic meeting center. We're going to do that right in here. I think here is pretty good. This seems like a very central location. So basically everybody's kind of like, you see, if we go back to F1 actually, uh, everybody's kind of hanging out here. We don't want our dwarves hanging. Uh, well, they're kind of like congregating there. They meet, they talk, they become friends. We want a meeting area on the inside because it rains. I mean, we don't want them on the outside. So we're going to establish, first time we're going to use zones. You do that to do zones. Um, <clears throat> um, and we're going to make a meeting area. 
So we're gonna do same thing. You just paint. I mean, you, you see, you do uh, so same thing. With stockpiles. You paint it. It's gonna ask you to accept it, and that's it. Right click. We've got a meeting area, and they're gonna start to come in here now. You can see they already are. Right. The cats are coming too. Everybody's coming in. Um, the dogs are coming in. Um, that's good. Um, and if you, by the way, if you hit that zones again, you'll see you'll see all your zones that were painted. So you can see here. Here's our meeting area. Now we're not done. Because uh, that would get them angry, by the way, if we didn't have a meeting area on the inside. We're not done yet, though. Uh, we need to make a little dormitory. And you know what I think we're going to do? We're going to make that right next to the meeting area. We're going to put that right in here. And we're just going to make a little... Actually, no, right-click out of there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, we're going to just make a little dormitory. And that's the second room. Now, we better go make some beds. Let's make... Uh, we go to Craftsman. Whoops. And let's make four, order four beds. They'll, they'll come out here, by the way, and get wood. They use our wood. Um, you can see they did. They came out and you got it. So remember, everything you do, they're going to come here and grab something. So um, you make something out here, they're going to come and grab it <clears throat> to make it. Excuse me. Um, so definitely, this is another huge area. Sleeping, another big one. Got to have that up running or they're going to get angry because they're going to get tired. They're going to get nasty. They're going to they're gonna get real nasty. They can't sleep. I mean, w wouldn't you? So uh, again, we go to zones. Uh, we go to bedroom. I'm sorry, dormitory. We'll make individual bedrooms later. But uh, initially to get going, it's uh, kind of good to make uh, a dormitory. And we're going to put that right there. We're going to accept it. It's that simple. There you can see we've got the bed icon. And there's our, our, our dormitory. If we Again, if we hit this, we can see all the zones we got. We got our dormitory here, our meeting place here. Uh, so you can see they're making the beds and they don't know what to do with them yet. So we need to place, we're going to place our first item down. But if you make something, it's just going to go uh, and they're going to put it in here. And then, but we need to place them. How do you place things? We come here, place structures. It does say that, by the way, if you, if you look at this, place structures and work area. So we're going to hit furniture now and we're going to hit bed. Um, we don't need to <clears throat> um, worry about, uh, we'll select the material that we want. Basically, it's that's a little misleading. It's not. It's just what, these will be made out of different um, woods that you have. So we're just going to select. We'll say we want. <clears throat> excuse me. Um, they're just going to place it there, and they took it out of the store. So we, we should only have three now, right? Yes, we got three. And let's place the rest of them. Now you know how to do it. Uh, we're going to come here and put another one down. Let's just peach wood. That's fine. Um, furniture. Let's do one right over here. Good. And let's do the final one. Um, let's put it right in this corner here. Okay. All right, there you go. So they're going to put all four beds in here. And they will come in here. You'll see them occasionally uh, sleeping. Uh, maybe we should have done a few more. We've got 15. Uh, but, uh, yeah, let's... No, you know what? We'll do that in the next video. Or I'll, I'll do it offline. But... Nonetheless, uh, yeah, I probably wanted a few more. Maybe we should have started out with six. Doesn't matter, though. They'll come in here uh, and get some sleep. Uh, but you can see we're congregate, congregating here. But uh, we also need some tables and chairs. So let's go make some of those. Add new task. Uh, let's just search for um, table. And let's make some wooden tables. Let's just make three. Or actually, let's, we'll do two to start. And then we need some chairs. Actually, you know what? I lied. We're going to make, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to make another chair and we're going to make another table. There we go. Okay, so we're going to have three, what do we got here? We're going to have three tables and three chairs and they're making them. And, and there, there you can see, there's our table. They put it, did it right away, put it in the storage. So uh, as those get built, there was one other area that we need. I just remembered this. We need a dining hall. So let's put that right I mean, this is not the most organized map. I would be probably thinking about this a little bit more if I wasn't doing a video, and but I don't want to waste time. Uh, but let's just do a little dining hall. Another good, because it's, you know, they're going to want to eat and drink, a place to eat and drink. Um, and while I'm thinking about that, it's good to make some mugs. And you do that in the um, crafts. Uh, they, they need, they want mugs to drink their stuff, right? Um, so we can go here. Uh, you can make them out of rock. So let's do some jugs and some mugs. <laughs> let's just make a few of these guys uh, let's make some cups you know they like to drink their, their they need something to drink out of their uh, 
you know, uh, some, so you can make them out of whatever material you want. Um, <clears throat> let's make some more. Let's just keep make a bunch of these because they like they will get irritated if they don't have something to drink out of, right? Uh, let's make a cup too, and let's make um, a wooden jug. There we go. <clears throat> okay, so that's all done. Um, let's actually never forget barrels, and we're gonna I'm gonna show you how to automate this, like I said in the next video, so you don't have to keep doing this, but. Let's just keep keep those barrels going. Um, you can see the drinks actually starting to get lower in the food because I told you those guys they like that booze. They like to drink. Let's brew a few more, just to keep a little bit of uh, supply going. Um, I'm not going to check these messages. We're going to clear them. Good. All right. So we we're really in good shape here. I mean, we're really in good shape. How's the wagon looking? They left some items here. I'm not sure why they didn't pick up uh, these. Don't know. But um, anyways, it's interesting. Usually that thing's empty. I don't know. I don't, I, uh, maybe we need a manager or something. We'll talk about that in the next video. Okay, so again, we need to finish our dining hall. So again, you come here. Uh, you're going to hit dining hall. We're going to paint it. And we're going to put it right here. We're going to hit accept. And good. We are done. Um, we're not going to sign anybody. Talk about that another video so what we need to do now is place our chairs and our tables so uh let's go do that uh we know how to do that now so we come here to furniture we're gonna put a table right here and we're gonna go put another table right here good and then uh, they're gonna go pick those out of storage good they're already placing them down and let's put a couple chairs there so they can sit down and uh parlay or whatever they do whatever dwarves do um let's get let's get another one too what did i just do oh hold on furniture okay so chair okay good no, uh, normally I'd, I'd put a lot more down but this is fine for now uh let's let's give them a chair one chair eating place in here too so they don't have to stand uh we'll let's just i think we made another one kind of changing my mind as i go here so let's just let's just put one here and let's get another chair. I think that's all we got in our inventory. This is why it's nice. We can go over here and kind of scan. Yeah, so we don't really have any more. <clears throat> but we've got um, we got some chairs so they can sit around now. And they'll use them. You'll see them eventually start to use these things. Sit down. They'll, you'll see them sitting down. Oh, you can see people are sleeping. See? Yep, people are already starting to sleep. Good. Okay, so final thing to talk about in this video is pasture. Um, so animals are just sort of, if you go over here pets and livestock they're all kind of just running around uh, we're gonna corral them up and we're going to do that with um, a pasture right here again we just come over here select pasture let's put it right by the wood pile it's fine we're gonna hit accept now this is the one of the few ones we need to tweak because we're gonna sign uh, some animals we want to put in here <clears throat> I'm sorry right here um, we don't want to put the cats or dogs we want the cats or dogs to stay with the dwarf so we just want to a round up let's round them all these guys up i'm not sure if animals will fight in there or not i can't remember but we're just going to throw them all in there okay so good and you'll actually start to see them uh collect up these guys and start to throw them in there now why didn't i put the cats and dogs well okay you can see he's already they're taking i said the llama i think or something yeah and they're putting them in in here and they're going to put them in here so good. It's just a way, another organization level. Reason you don't want to do cats is because cats uh, will pick off rats in here, in, inside our fortress. So they're good to have around, and they're also companions. Same thing with dogs. Dogs are companions. We want them. Uh, many of these guys will adopt dogs, so don't want to put the dogs in the pasture or pen. Well, that is the start of this uh, video. Um, if you're, uh, you can always save it. I usually uh, save and return to title menu. You do that it will save this to this timeline that's what you want to do and then um, it'll it'll go through that it sometimes takes a, a little little while once you if you come back and want to play your game you hit continue active game and you will select uh, the world that you now you can see here <laughs> I've actually got multiple worlds going. So that's kind of cool. Um, you can sort of select 
whatever world. I think we were the uh, this one. Were we this one? I'm trying to remember the name now. I forgot. Or is it the plane? I can't remember which one. I never really look at the names. I should keep more track of it. Sometimes it gets me confusing. So, but nonetheless, um, um, you'll probably pay better attention than I did to what the name was. I think it was this one right here, um, actually. But um, yeah, it's, I think this is the most recent. This is the oldest. This is the most recent. So it was this one. No, I'm sorry. It was, was it the plane of intention? I think it was this one. I can't, I can't remember now. Um, this is my big one right here, right now. Irushal. I can remember that one. I'm forgetting these other names. But nonetheless, the point, here, point I'm making here is you can have as many worlds as you want. I don't know if there's a limit to this. I'm sure there is, but usually I keep four, three or four going. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, I hope it, you found it helpful. In the next video, uh, we will talk about a very important subject called work orders. Thanks for watching.